Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Global Hemp Group's channel. We're sitting here once again with Kurt. We want to talk about an exciting press release and dive into the hemp markets in general. But first off, Kurt, how are you doing out there in the field? I'm doing well. You like my field? Oh, it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful out there. I want to be outside, get some of the sunshine rays on myself personally. Well, the, you know, and this is what our um, fields will look like in Colorado when we uh, are able to grow hemp, as opposed to the what we did in Oregon in the past, where it was more an orchard style cultivation, which is widely spaced and, and big bushes. This is closely spaced together and yeah. becomes quite tall. Yeah, that's the in industrial hemp versus the, the kind that they use for CBD and stuff. It, it looks cool. It looks nice. And it was interesting. We had, again, off camera, just kind of talking here. You talked about how the bees really like it, too. And that's something that people should think about. Got to save the Absolutely. bees. Absolutely. Anyways, not to digress too much, getting to your guys' news release. You guys closed on your strategic industrial property for the Colorado Hemp Agro Industrial Zone. Tell us about how this went and what the next steps are there. Well, you know, that's that was an, um, an important piece of real estate that we acquired. Mm -hmm. uh, there's 44 acres there, and that will be the basis for the manufacturing facilities that we're doing, as well as ultimately we look to build out that in additional uh, industrial spaces for other companies that come in that have like-minded visions of what we're doing with the, um, the industrial aspects of hemp. As well as uh, we look to have uh, potentially um, a small demonstration uh, field there where we can um, test grow some hemp. And um, as well, we're looking to put our uh, two demonstration or model homes on the uh, on that property as well. So it's um, it's a really nice piece of real estate. We've um, it's right on the major highway. It's near the rail line. So um, a very key piece for our project in developing it because it's, it's right adjacent to the other property that we acquired, which will be the residential as well as uh, some of the hemp growing area. So the, the whole idea of uh, this particular project is that you grow the hemp in the area that it's going to be processed because the reality is that uh, hemp is bulky and uh, it, to transport it requires a lot of transport. So uh, if you're traveling more than sort of 50 miles for processing, um, it, it becomes, you know, a, a cost effective challenge uh, for, yeah. um, for the economics of, the, of everything. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess that's why you guys have the word strategic in there. It's very well placed. That makes a lot of sense to not have to it, move it, so far. It really is. It's, it's one of the properties that we, we looked at from the very beginning of this, this project that we, we knew we needed to acquire. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, as you mentioned too, like, yeah, the hemp industry is doing pretty well right now. And uh, we had, you had sent over, we were talking about this article where why hemp is still a smart choice for investment, right? And it, it's gone through multiple phases now as hemp kind of reentered the spotlight. Everyone started growing hemp for CBD and you saw the prices go up and then kind of come back down as the demand wasn't quite there for the supply. Can you tell us why with industrial hemp, that's kind of changed the game a lot? Well, the, the interesting thing for us is that the focus is turning back to, again, the industrial applications of hemp, which has always been our vision. We've had, um, you know, since I joined the company back in 2014, and, uh, and I joined because the founder's vision was this broad ranging um, application of hemp, which was all on the industrial side, whether it be uh, for building materials, whether it be for biocomposites, bioplastics, uh, you know, they're just a huge amount of things that the plant can be used for. And obviously, as we've talked before, the world got a little sidetracked on CBD because mm -hmm. that's where the money was for the, for the short term. And, and so the money was there and everybody rushed in and everybody grew hemp. And there was this huge, um, you know, uh, glut of material available that was CBD based. And so the, the, the inordinately high prices of CBD came down, crashing down. Mm -hmm. And it's really forced people to look at the other aspects of what you can do with the hemp plant. Mm -hmm. And so everybody's coming around to our original vision, get in there and, uh, you know, get involved with the industrial aspects. So... Uh, you know, that's where the opportunities are. The fiber is, is really um, 
there's two components of the industrial plant or the way it's grown for industrial purposes. You have fiber and you have the inner woody core, which is what they call the herd. Mm -hmm. Now the herd's used in in building materials, so there's uh, they're using it for the walls of houses. There's there's companies that are making it into flooring. There's there's I've talked to a group that's making kitchen cabinets out of it. Uh, so there's there's a lot of different things that you can you can make that out of. And so for in the short term here, our focus is the herd which you still have the fiber which wraps around the stalk of the plant and as part of the decortication process you actually have to separate the two and you clean the fiber and you clean the herd so that you have each of the respective um, material um, what's going to happen as time evolves you know in our focus in the short term we're interested in the herd but we'll sell the just plain fiber that is unprocessed uh, as a added revenue stream for the company. Mm -hmm. But as the industry continues to mature, the focus is going to be on the things that you can do with the fiber. And because you use the fiber for textiles, for example, or, or bio uh, composites. And there's, there's a lot of different things that you can make out of that. And that's going to be the bigger use. And in the end, the herd is just going to be the byproduct that you need to get rid of because you're going to be making so much uh, fiber. So, um, you know, ultimately, we will end up adding uh, various value added uh, processes to be able to actually utilize the fiber and and create value for the company and another revenue stream as we move forward. So, um, you know, there's a lot of things that are taking place in the industry right now. And uh, this, this refocusing of what the hemp plant can do uh, is, is going to be key. You know, the, because we've experienced an 80 year moratorium, mm -hmm. there's been this huge, um, you know, there's there's very few industries in this world that haven't been affected by technology, yeah. and and certainly in the last decade, uh, having um, you know a lack of of um, technological advancement, um, hemp is one of those uh, one of those products. So now you're starting to see much more increased um, uh, research. And you know, obviously, uh, our R and D division in, in Mexico is is focusing on that as well. But um, I think you're going to see a lot of new innovations coming because of what's taking place in the R and D side of things. And uh, fiber is going to be an important component of that. Yeah, it, it is unfortunate that hemp was held back for so long because of the moratorium. But now it, it places companies like Global Hemp Group in a unique position to be able to hey, be like, hey, we have this vision and, and there's plenty of applications for hemp. It's only going to be a matter of time before the applications become realized. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, we're our R&D division is working on uh, various um, alternative building materials, in particular, some of the biocomposite type stuff. Uh, as well as we have an opportunity, you know, now that uh, Mexico is nearing uh, full legalization of uh, both adult use as well as certainly the medicinal and, and uh, hemp will fall into that, uh, we'll be able to uh, grow our own hemp there for doing R&D purposes and uh, conti continue to expand what we're doing with our collaborations down there in Mexico. So that'll affect very positively on our uh, Colorado project. We'll be able to take some of the things that we are creating down in Mexico and apply them and or manufacture them in Colorado and continue to expand out our business model for the hemp agro-industrial zone. Wonderful, Kurt. Very well said. And congratulations on closing on the property. If anyone has any questions, don't be afraid to send them over. I'll be happy to dive into it for you. Kurt, thank you so much for coming on. Have a wonderful Canada Day. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much.